Ah, sometimes this beer gets tangled up, man. I wonder if I need to use some conditioner in it. Yeah, I'm about to get a shower. I need to use some conditioner in it to kind of de, ah, detanglify it, I would imagine, huh? I wonder should I use regular hair conditioner or should I use this beard conditioner specially formulated from Go Bearded Beard Products Company? I wonder, is there a difference? I probably need to go on ahead and ask Tommy with Go Bearded Beard Products Company. Do what? Tommy with Go Bearded Beard Products Company to the rescue. You're about to use regular head hair conditioner on your beard. No, dude, don't do that at all. You need to use a specially formulated beard conditioner for your beard. I'm so glad you asked me. I'm here to the rescue. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to do a video on beard conditioner. Everything you need to know about it. Whew, just got out of the shower, used a nice beard wash, used this beard conditioner from Go Bearded Beard Products Company. I am so glad that I listened to Tommy with Go Bearded Beard Products Company. Not only do I not wanna damage my beard, I wanna care for it properly, but man, that comb is just gliding through this beard right now like there's no tomorrow. I mean, it is just rolling through it. So I'm really looking forward to this video that Tommy is gonna do about beard conditioner. I can't wait to hear all about it. Man, what a difference it does make. Thank you, Tommy. Tommy Kissinger with Go Bearded Beard Products Company, also a community and a brotherhood for the bearded. And thank you once again for joining us on this video. As you guessed, we're going to be talking about beard conditioner. Before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, smashing the thumbs up button, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already done so. So we're going to be reading an article today and let's give the credit where the credit is due. We're reading this article from Live Bearded about beard conditioner. So let's get right on into this and check out and see what it says. Beard conditioner, everything you need to know. All right, guys, let's talk soft beards because if there is one thing we know about beards, it's that the softer they are, the better they are. When it comes to beard care and getting your beard soft as a baby's blanket, there's no better product than beard conditioner. In this article, we'll cover everything you need to know and why you should use beard conditioner daily. Why you need beard conditioner. Beard conditioner functions to help replace the loss of natural oils in your hair, strengthen the follicles to protect against breakage, and according to Captain Obvious, make your beard soft. But does it have any other benefits? Can you use your regular hair conditioner instead? Does it help your beard grow? Don't worry, we'll cover it all. Beard conditioner benefits. I touched on a few of the benefits of an all-natural beard conditioner above, but let's go into the details. Thanks to beard conditioner, say goodbye to the days of your beard being described as wiry or coarse. Even if your beard is thick, curly, and coarse, by conditioning your beard daily, it will be easy to comb or brush through and super soft to the touch. If your beard is on the curly side, you'll greatly appreciate the detangling benefits conditioner brings to the table. Bed beard is a nightmare for most beards, but if your beard is curly, it can be darn near impossible to pass a comb or brush through your beard. After conditioning your beard, you'll have no problem combing or brushing your beard pain-free. They say you can tell the health of your hair by the shine. This shine comes from the moisture locked into the hair follicles, which conditioner works to lock in. And if it couldn't get any better, beard conditioner works to make your beard strong. When you wash your beard, the hair cuticle is opened up to be cleaned. You seal it back by using conditioner to lock in 
the nutrients and keep pollutants out. This will strengthen the hair to prevent breakage, split ends, and even hair loss. And this is why I recommend if you're going to use a beard conditioner, use a good beard wash first. When you're using the beard wash, you're getting all the dirt, the grime, all the junk out. Now, when you use the beard conditioner, you're going to lock in nutrients and keep pollutants out. So you wanna wash, get all the dirt, all the stuff out first, then use the beard conditioner to lock in the nutrients and keep the pollutants out. Beard conditioner versus regular conditioner. You, like many, may be thinking the hair on your face can't possibly need to be taken care of differently than the hair on your head, right? Wrong. Facial hair is an androgenic hair which sprouts at puberty when your body produces the hormone androgen. Your beard growth is linked closely to your testosterone, which means the higher your testosterone levels, the more facial hair you'll grow. The downside to high testosterone levels is it increases your chance of male pattern baldness. There's always a catch. The biggest difference between androgenic hair, beard hair, and head hair is that facial hair grows thicker and curlier and is much more coarse and dry than your head hair. This is why beards of the past were referenced as being coarse, dry, itchy, irritating, scruffy, and all sorts of not so nice adjectives. Thanks to products like beard conditioner, you can have a gloriously soft beard that smells just as great as it feels. The equally important difference between your head hair and facial hair is in the skin. The skin on your scalp is typically much oilier than facial skin, which is why regular shampoos are much more harsh than a high quality beard wash. You don't want the oils on your head hair, which is why regular shampoo is okay, not the same for your face and beard though. It's because of these key differences between your scalp versus your face and beard hairs versus head hair that you want a beard conditioner that is designed specifically for your beard, hairs, and face skin. Best beard conditioner ingredients. So they're gonna go over some of the best ingredients here. When it comes to finding any high quality beard products, you wanna stick with 100% all natural for many reasons. As we stated above, it's critical you don't use anything that's too harsh or you can cause beard dandruff, itch, and irritation and an overall unhealthy, scraggling looking beard. So here are some of the... Um, uh, ingredients. Here's what we recommend as the best ingredients to look for in the beard conditioner. Biotin, keratin, hemp seed oil, vitamin E, coconut oil, argon oil, jojoba oil, aloe vera, and caffeine. So different between beard conditioner and beard butter. Well, they're going to go on to a uh, an article there about beard conditioner and beard butter. But just wanted to lay that out for you there, how important it is first to wash or rinse your beard on a daily basis. You don't have to use beard wash every day, but you probably want to rinse your beard every day. And then you want to wash your beard probably at least two to three, maybe four times a week. If you need to wash the beard every day, just use common sense if you sweat and really get dirty in your daily work. And then you want to use beard conditioner. I probably use it two to three times a week, but I always use the beard conditioner after I have used the beard wash because I wanna use the beard wash to get out all of the dirt, all of the grime, all of the junk. And then I wanna use the beard conditioner to lock back in all of the nutrients, to detangle it so that you can just comb through the beard free, be looking good, feeling good, smelling good. That's what it's all about, baby. And so I'm so glad you came to us today. As always, remember, go Tommy, go Tigers, and go Bearded.